Hey guys, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of Desilva Life and a vetted ClickUp consultant. As a vetted consultant, obviously I know pretty much around my way every single feature, view, bell and whistle of ClickUp, but let me let you in on a secret. My favorite view of all time is the calendar view. So in this video today, I'm gonna go through some of the best features of the calendar view that you may not even know about. So with that, let's not wait waste any time, let's dive into the tutorial. I'm honestly so excited to make this tutorial for you guys because that's how much I love ClickUp's calendar view. Now I'm going to go into my favorite tips and tricks, but I just want to start off by going through a couple different use case scenarios of the calendar view. So let's talk about views in general real quick, just ClickUp 101. So ClickUp has so much functionality to customize, right? And what these views are doing are the ability to take your tasks and view them in different ways. So if you're in list view, you'll obviously see it in this list type of way. If you're in Gantt view, board view, etc. So adding a calendar view, you're then going to be able to see all of the tasks in a calendar. You can then turn on different settings like show assignees if maybe this list has multiple people involved. Anytime you're saving these settings as well, make sure to auto save so anytime you make changes, then it automatically sticks. So I personally love seeing things in calendar view, assuming that you may as well if you're watching this video. So seeing the calendar view is just a great way to see the tasks in a calendar view within that project, right? Let's go through a, another use case scenario, which would be filtering out a type of published calendar. So say we have tasks, right, in a project, but then maybe we're in our Instagram list and we want to see when each of these pieces of content are set to go out. Now, I want to go quickly over why we have due date and publish date in our content calendars. So because we have a, an amazing team behind us at Desilva Life that helps with our content, we have a lot of different things going right on in the list. We're brainstorming the content, we're creating the content, our copywriters are writing it, our designers are designing, etc. And so the due date we note as, okay, what is the due date for the next step of this piece of content? Do I have to review it? Does it have to be written or designed, etc.? Whereas then we have a due date custom field called publish date. Let me find it. Date <laughs> called publish date to be able to say, okay, this is what we want this piece of content to go out. So then on the content calendars, we add a calendar view, name it publish calendar. And on here, instead of, let me go to where these are actually put. You can see instead of showing start and due date, we toggled that off and turned on the publish date custom field. So now we have a publish calendar instead of just a task calendar. So you can have both task calendars and then calendars filtering in specific due date, um, specific date custom fields. So. Those are just a couple different use case scenarios. Then my favorite of all time is actually my everything view calendar. So something with ClickUp is there are so many amazing, robust features, right? And building out your ClickUp in a way where you could see we have all these different spaces and every single thing for DeSilva Life lives in ClickUp, right? So we keep track of everything. We know who's doing what. It's amazing, but if we left it up to ourselves and each of our team members to click into each individual space to see what we had to do, that would be crazy. So to set ourselves up for success, we wanna see on a calendar view what I have to do, what our team members have to do. So we set these everything view calendars so that we get an idea of our workload and if anything has to shift or change. So how do we do this? I'm going to go through the exact process. So on the everything level, we do a calendar and let's call this Christie's tasks. You can call it my calendar, Christie's calendar. 
And then once that shows up, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter that the assignee is me. I also recommend actually before doing that, pinning this and then also deciding if you want to make this private. If you have a small team, it could be great to um, have multiple, say you maybe have like two to five team members. If you have like 10 plus, you might want to train your team members how to create their everything view calendar and private it so everyone isn't inundated with these views all at the top. Because if you do create a view that's not privated, then everyone on the team can see it. So if you do want to private it, you could do sharing and permissions, make private. And as soon as you see that lock on there, again, I'm going to make sure to auto save. Then that means only I can see this view. So I put a filter that the assignee is me. And then I do a few more things. I don't like to show future recurring tasks. I feel like it could be a bit overwhelming. So I'll turn that off. You could see how much cleaner that made it. Definitely make sure to show subtasks because it, if you are assigned to subtasks and you use subtasks in your business, you're going to want to make sure they show up on calendars and don't get lost. Um, I also make sure to turn on priority and tags. Now you can decide what settings you want. Maybe you want to see the location it's coming in from. Um, maybe you want to see how many subtasks that task has, but you can decide. I highly recommend the filter that the assignee is that person that's necessary, and then showing subtasks, priority, and tags at the minimum. So now you have an everything view calendar. You can easily move things from day to day. You can see what's coming up in your workload. And I highly recommend taking this and adding it to your favorites bar so you always have this easily accessible. Also note, if you're new to the favorites bar, yours will probably be unpinned here. You can have this as a drop down, or you can pin it like a bookmarks bar. Okay. So that is the everything view calendar. Now I want to show you a couple more things. Let me actually move this task here. So you can see, you don't only need to see this in month view. You can also see it in day, four day and week view. Week view is actually one of my favorites. I recently started implementing this in my business where I will on Friday prep for the next week ahead and actually take all my tasks and drag them into a time slot, actually granularly time blocking my schedule to make sure the things on my calendar are getting done. So when I go to open my laptop for that day, I just come in and tackle my to-do list. So you can then drag this. You can change the time that it takes to get done. It's really amazing. And then of course you can bring it back into having no time slot. So that's another way you could see it. Also feel free to check out four day and day view. Very similar idea there. And then one more note about this everything calendar view is I highly recommend integrating your Google calendar. So I'm going to press M, bring me back to month view. You can see those hot keys that you have here. So if you click open this column, you can click add calendar down at the bottom and go Google calendar. From here, you can click add account and then sync events to click up or sync tasks to Google. You can do a one-way or two-way sync. Syncing your events to ClickUp, you'll be able to choose which calendars you want to see in your ClickUp as you're time blocking and planning, or you can take any tasks assigned to you and bring them into your Google Calendar. So if you click on sync events to ClickUp and next, you're going to click select account, connect new account. It's going to bring you through the process of just signing into your Google and authorizing ClickUp to gain access. After that, you'll see the connection here. So now when I come back to my calendar, you can see that you can decide which tasks to toggle on and off or which calendars, sorry. And so that when you're planning your schedule, if I go here and then go to week view, now, when I go to next week, I'll be able to see and block my tasks around my existing meetings that I have. So integrating your Google Calendar is so powerful. 
highly recommend. And you can always choose to keep these off if it's a little overwhelming and maybe only keep them on when you're resourcing for the next week. Okay, that was a lot of information. I have one more tip for you, which is how do you get this calendar view now on your dashboard? So let me go back to month view. This is a hack that I created because I love calendar view and I want to see it on my dashboard. So what you could do is click the three dots here and then copy this internal link. Then when you go into dashboards, I'm just going to create a new dashboard. Click add card and then embed. From here, you can call this whatever you want, my calendar, my tasks, and then you're gonna paste this link. From here, you're now gonna be able to see your calendar view on a dashboard. So those are all the tips I have for you today on my favorite ways to use calendar view. I hope you learned something new today and that this video was helpful for you. So I hope that video is helpful for you. Uncovered maybe a new tip or trick with the calendar view that you didn't know about. It truly is my favorite view of all time. So if you found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because we have so many ClickUp tutorials where that came from. And if you are just diving into ClickUp, you are brand new, make sure to check out our freebies page on our website. So that's desilvalife.com slash freebies. We have an entire ClickUp 101 guide, which is going to go through the basics of ClickUp. And then we also have a free template called the Simple ClickUp System. This is going to start you from the basics, allow you to have a space that gives you the foundations of how to start with ClickUp and teaches you some things that I didn't know in the beginning and I wish I had. But if there are other topics you have question marks around, make sure to drop a comment below and let me know because I am here to serve you. I wanna make sure the content on this channel are things that you actually wanna see. So again, with that, thank you so much for watching. Every single one of you watching these videos, supporting our channel, liking, subscribing, I could not thank you enough. And with that, I'll see you next time. Yeah.